hi and welcome back we are doing a spring themed vlog today we're doing a one day together i have a lot to update you on so let's go ahead and just dive in just like that yesterday i went through my garden and did a big post winter cleanup since tomorrow is the first day of spring i figured let's start off the season right get rid of all of the dead leaves all of the weird things that had fallen from the tree branches mowed the lawn i mean it was a full overhaul i kind of wish i'd gotten them before it's not that big of a transformation considering nothing's turning over the leaves yet but we are getting warmer weather so i planted some flowers hoping that we don't get any more big frosts and that they'll survive. Yeah, just had a really good time, just out in the sunshine. It was sunny, 61 degrees, the dogs were playing. I got the dog pool out. We even did a little fire at the end of the night in the fire pit. It was just so lovely, but I wanted to show you what I've done, so we'll give you a little tour. This past week was my birthday. I didn't get to film any more footage for you guys. I was working, I was editing a video for Erin. It's awesome, so go check it out if you guys are into beauty history and things like that. It was a Pamela Anderson recreation, so go check that out. What you saw me doing earlier was the rose facial. If you saw my unboxing video, you'll see I got that actually from the real real of all places they actually do have beauty products and nail polish even sometimes and it's a LA based skincare company or just a girl with a business where she makes really cool skincare aesthetic type stuff it was her rose stem steam mix I put that in some water two tablespoons to be exact and steamed my face for about 10 minutes it felt really amazing it was really relaxing I think next time I will put on some music while I'm doing it and just try to do a little meditation because it was so calming and it just feels so good And another thing about it is I've been noticing in my own videos when I've been editing them that I feel like my skin has been looking really good. If I do say so. I think it's this. I think it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It says stays all day and night. I mean, we all know that Charlotte Tilbury is known for having really good quality makeup products, beauty products. I had no idea. No one's told me. <laughs> no one told me that this foundation looks this good look how good my skin looks it just looks so naturally healthy and i love it so i need to get it one shade down this is a four i need to get a three so that i can go back and forth when i'm tan and when i'm less tan i'm less tan today i made it work by using a lighter concealer it's definitely a dark shade On my lips, I'm actually wearing the Pat McGrath lip gloss in Heavy Petal that I got in my Ipsy, and I love it. It's the perfect pinky gloss for spring. The glosses are very creamy and comfortable to wear. They don't feel sticky at all. And I actually just did, <laughs> I actually just did a liner, and then I did lipstick, mattified that, and then did gloss over top. And that's from watching that video. <laughs> Pamela Anderson's makeup artist did Alexis Vogel. When she would do Pamela's lips, she would do the liner and the lipstick and then mattify it and then do this gloss over top. And I was like, gosh, I used to do that and I haven't done it in such a long time. So I brought back that old technique and look at how pigmented and glossy these lips are. This is my spring outfit. I am wearing the Love Shack fancy shirt that I it really doesn't fit me. I can't button the sleeves. <laughs> a lot of times I'll wear these unbuttoned anyway because it makes them look poofier. So even in shirts that I know fit me, this is how far it is from buckling clothes. The only other thing is across the chest. It's this close from me bending over to grab something and He-Man style ripping through the back of it because my boobs 
are really making it <laughs> stretch to the limit. And I am still considering maybe going to a seamstress to see if she can do inserts on the side. I'm thinking that might make it fit a lot better as she can figure something out. So I'm gonna keep it because I think it's a really cute top. I love this oversized Peter Pan collar. It's just so spring, isn't it? Like as soon as I even feel like spring is closed, I pull out the pastels, I pull out the lace. Because of this top, and the lovely lilac color that it is. I went to my Pinterest board for inspiration because I have on a pair of purple leggings, which I'll put the photo that I took in them here so you can see, since you can't see me full body right now. These are the leggings that I got. I actually just ordered these from Amazon, but they are actually really quality. So I might order a couple of more colors because I'm really impressed with how well these fit me and just how thick the material is. They just feel really nice. You know, sometimes when you get really cheap leggings, they just feel like they're gonna rip easy. And these ones are nice and sturdy. It's called Moochie, the brand and I'll leave a link for it below. Yeah, I loved the look of lavender tights on my Pinterest board. I got all of my inspiration from Pinterest, just looking at other people who are into fashion and what's trending for spring. And lavendery, purpley legs, I saw them everywhere. I wanted so badly to recreate my own version. So I decided to go ahead and pop this puppy on, see if I can make it fit. <laughs> Another update is that uh, I have tried the Daydream lashes. I have a box that I tried on. It's not what I have on right now. I think I have a photo of me wearing them. I'll put it here. Not a fan. So I don't think I'll buy them again. I felt like they were too fake looking. The way that they looked on my eye, they just really look like a fake lash. If you're into the big feathered wide spread out kind of look. Maybe it fits certain people's face, but for me with my features, I think it just looked too fake. But I've, I like for them to just kind of be there, but not in your face. And the, the Daydream ones just didn't work. So I put on a pair of feathers this morning. That's what I have on and I'm feeling like I'm liking them. My nails I have taken off and I ordered a new nail system. <sighs> We're gonna try something else. <laughs> Let's hope I'm not allergic to it. I'm really, really, really hoping that I'm not because if I am, I'm gonna have to return it. It was a little bit expensive. I'll show that to you, it just got delivered. I actually got a request to do an empties video. I don't have empties that I've saved. I have a terrible habit of just tossing them in the recycling right away without remembering to save them for an empties. What I thought I would do instead is just tell you guys throughout my vlogs if something's gone empty, what I thought about it. So that we were kind of always updating you on things that I've tried that I'm like, mm, is it worth it? Hum, these are empty now. I have finished the entire bottle. On my hair journey, I've been trying to grow my hair out naturally. It's been very hard. I'm so close to putting in my extensions. Do I feel a difference? Hard to say, because I feel like that just wasn't enough time. And I've been using my hair oil too, but I forgot to use it the past week. Really need to get back on using my hair oils and doing the treatments that I was trying to do, the masks. I did do the masks and I took this every single day. Would I order them again? I'm going to. So I need to put in an order for a second round of these and see if I really see any sort of difference. Anyway, that is it. Let's go do a little garden tour. I'm gonna to toss on some shoes and take you guys outside. what I ended up planting a couple of days ago. I have a new fern and he should grow big and healthy. Ferns do really well here considering it's the Pacific Northwest. So I am excited to see it grow and flourish. These two I believe are pansies. I've already forgotten but I just needed a little pop of color. You yeah, know why not? This thing I thought was so cool. It's just so unique. The petals are like these little pockets and they're fluffy like a lantern. <gasps> Aren't they just so cool? I'll insert the name of this here because I do not remember. 
The sky is it, what I believe will be tulips, but it was actually called the gardener's surprise. So it's a mix of things. You get to just plant it and see. I do have a tulip plant that usually comes in every year that looks like the leaf to it. So I can't wait. I'm just excited about this whole area just being a big burst of color. This is a new rose bush. I seem to do well with roses. Oh, look at the little leaves. So I am excited to have another rose bush to my collection. This will be my second one. It's supposed to be really beautiful pink roses. I cannot wait to have pink roses in my bouquet because right now this baby is my pride and joy and gives me so many yellow roses. This is my new planter. I switched things out in here quite a bit. It does get a lot of sun so when we get really hot weather it tends to fry whatever's in here but I think it'll do pretty good probably up until August. Wow, it's really loud outside right now. Uh, yeah, so we've got some mint, some daffodils, some more of those little colorful flowers, and then some sort of type of cilantro. I just wanted some tasty herbs, and I think I want to get some basil. I also want some fresh tomatoes. So a lot going on with the garden, lots of updates to do, more opportunities for more stuff to be planted. I have good feelings about spring and summer this year. I really want to get on top of it and just have fun with it and use that as like my leisure time. That's my garden tour. Um, so I'm gonna open this package with you. We're gonna move on to the next part of this lovely springy themed vid. So as you guys know, I'm on quite the journey with my nails and my hair. Try to make them as healthy as possible, but also be able to have it look glam. It's really hard to do a really full glam naturally. And I am determined to find a way to do natural glam. This is a nail system that is all natural, but is gel nails. As you know, I am allergic to gel nails, but I think I'm allergic to the ones that aren't breathable and aren't good for your nails. And these are organic and supposed to be breathable. I doubt I'll have a reaction to that is what I'm telling myself. Anytime I use anything that is chemicals or uses nail glue, dips or acrylics or gels, I seem to have issues. The issues that I have are nail beds get really swollen and then my fingers actually start to feel like I have electricity going through them. It feels like they're being shocked and then it makes my toes do the same thing. So this is what it looks like. It's called Green Flash. The packaging to it is really nice. Okay so far I'm really just impressed with how they packaged this. This was a gift from my dad for my birthday. So this is one of my birthday presents. And so is my little birthday tulip mug that my husband got me. It's so cute. It's my spring mug. This is the lamp, I believe. I got the kit. Our bottles are made of glass, our tubes of aluminum, and our boxes of cardboard from sustainably managed forests. Each one we have green flash, hydrate, and a apace, moisturize, and soothe. We have five gel removal clips. I've been using the tin foil situation, but look at that. So I bet you can take a little cotton swab, douse it in this, and then clip it onto your finger. That's great. So those are gonna be reusable. We've got the Insta Dry base coat. Lovely. Okay, so it says numbers on the top. So this is number one. This is number two. I went with Poppy Red. I thought I would start off with a fun color and then the next one I get will probably be in the more pinky nude family. Finally, we have our top coat. I just think this packaging is really cute. We're gonna do our nails here in a moment, but first she must eat something. So I'm gonna make myself an omelet. And you're gonna help me. Would you like to help me make an omelet? Great. Oh, I forgot to show you the most important part. You're like, girl, I didn't show you what this looks like. Stickers, go green, green flash, customize your lamp. I probably use the hand, the bottle, and the heart. I'm gonna definitely pimp out my lamp. <laughs> Such a cute idea. Ah, oh, this is great. 
anyway, time for breakfast. Yesterday we made, or last night, we made some homemade pizza from scratch. It was so good. I think we actually still have a few slices left. Whenever I cut a bunch of veggies, especially for toppings like pizza, I take a handful and separate them and put it in one of my Ziplocs. I use the reusable Ziplocs as much as I possibly can. This is the Cuisinart ones that you get at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. But I just put in some green peppers and some mushrooms. I thought they'd be perfect. Now, I can't remember if I've done this before. I did learn how to make the most perfect omelet from somebody who was kind of known as the omelet king. He was my boss. I worked at this little deli. So I'll never forget he told me how to make the most perfect omelet. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. There's just a couple of tricks with it. You wanna do two eggs to three eggs. And now you want to add a splash of water. Okay, so now that you have a little bit of water in with your egg, you want to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and any fresh herbs that you might have on hand, which I do happen to have, a little bit of fresh basil. And then you give it a mix, and you don't wanna over mix it. Just to make sure the yolk is broken up, and that's good enough. Now we're just gonna add in a little bit of butter to the olive oil so it's a mixture of both. I would say just a little dash of olive oil and then about a half of a tablespoon of butter. Now we're just gonna add our veggies. Okay, so we're gonna do our sauce, which is a bit of sriracha. And then you add a dash of water. And that just makes it so it has a drizzly consistency. You can do this with mayo too if you wanna do like a sriracha aioli may mayo style but today I was kind of more in the mood for a sour cream. Pour your egg into the pan now that your veggies have been taken out and you want it to get about 30 seconds into cooking so it gets a nice little cooked layer on the bottom but you don't want to overdo it because overcooked egg is so gross. A spatula. See, then you just start lifting the edges just into the sides and this starts to fluff it. And as you can see in the center, it's starting to get that well of fluffiness. It's so good. I'm going to stick it in the broiler and let it graze the top of it with some heat without burning it. That is just seconds in the broiler. So now I turned off the broiler. I'm going to add all of my veggies, some shredded cheese. You wanna kinda of go around and get all the edges up and get it unstuck. Fold it over onto itself and just pop it back in the oven for half of a minute. Roll it out. That looks delicious. A little bit of your drizzle. But that is my delicious, healthy omelet and all the tricks. It's so good. I cannot get over how good that polish remover smells. My new hand lotion my husband got me for my birthday. I thought I would just insert little birthday things here and there without sitting down and doing a haul. This is the Tokyo Milk Neptune and Mermaid Song of the Siren Shea Butter Hand Cream. And oh my God, the packaging is gorgeous. It feels so good on the hands. It makes them feel like silky, almost like a paraffin dip. It's so luxurious. So I've been having this next to the bedside table and putting it on at night. All right, so number one. Now I do remember with gel systems that I've used in the past, the thin layer is a very important key tip to making it last and not look like absolute crap. It's one, so let's just stick to one side. And it said for one minute. The thing I like about gels and doing gels at home, especially now that I know that there's a brand that's natural, it's instantly dry because I cannot handle nail polish and having to sit still. Oh yeah. Okay, there's one side, let's do the other. Apparently taking it off also isn't bad for your nails. So let me read that while this is curing. It says, how to remove flash. Soak the cotton pad with the green flash remover. So I'm gonna be using this delicious smelling stuff again. Leave it on the nails for a few minutes and then rub to remove the green flash nail lacquer. I guess what we can do is put the green flash remover on a cotton pad and then attach it with this. That was the part that I liked the most about it is it seems like it is easy to remove. It says it is easy removal, non-damaging for the nails, as thin as a regular nail lacquer, free from endocrine disruptor, up to 84% of natural orin ingredients and nine free. Step two, 
we're gonna go in with the red. This says apply two thin layers of the green flash color, including the free edge of the nails. Cure each layer for one minute. Okay, so I do a layer and then a minute and then a layer and then a minute. That is a beautiful color. Oh, I love it. Okay, first coat is on, so pretty. The perfect orangey red. How long does flash last? It shines perfectly and lasts up to 10 days, depending on the nature of your nails and the use of your hands. It does have, I will say, that gel polish shine that you can't get when you just do regular nail polish, which is what I'm excited about. Okay, that is both of the coats and the top coat is on. And this is the Beauty Guard nail oil. It's so good, it smells like coconut oil. It's amazing. That is the nail. It looks so lovely. I love. Oh, and then now we should put on some hand lotion. I am impressed. I think they look fantastic. It looks like I just went to a salon and got my nails done. I'm feeling good about it. Look at my skin. See how that Charlotte Tilbury foundation throughout the day makes you look glowier and glowier? I don't know how it does it. Blows my mind blows my mind. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. No pressure. Subscribe. You must. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Stick around. Subscribe if you'd like. And otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video, whatever it is. Mm -hmm.